The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. Welcome to the Sicilian Corner, winner of the Italian Heritage Media Award, with your hosts, Tom Zappala and Mike Lamazzo. You know, Mike, I feel like doing, when that music, I feel like doing the Tarantella. Do you not do the Tarantella? You know something, it does get right. you going. Ellen and I do the Tarantella every single night in our bedroom. Is it before the martini or after? After. That's even better. We do the Tarantella every night in our bedroom. Yeah? Yeah. Fun. Oh, let me see it again. No, let me. I'm watching the Is moves. It the have, have you ever tried it, Dave? What are, what are the moves here? Oh, you, left, right. Left, left, right. Do you lead off with your left? Sometimes. <laughs> Depends. Depends, I was hit Depends on how you're feeling. Exactly. Did you happen to watch a Kentucky Derby? I did. Uh, I know you're not into it. <laughs> no, I, I, seriously, I watched. Hold on. Welcome to the. I was going to say the Great American Collectible Show, but hey, that's the hey, other wrong show. Wrong one. Hey, I'm penalty. Fight all. The Sicilian Corner. Before we talk about that, we have a, we have a great show today, Mikey. I don't know if you know this. I, I'm going to surprise What's you. What's happening? I invited an old friend of ours to come in for, for a few minutes. Who's that? Father Mikey is back in town. Is he back already? Back in town. Oh, he wasn't supposed to come in until next Wednesday. He, he flew in. Evidently, he was in Tahiti. I don't know where the hell he was, but he flew from there to Vegas, stayed in Vegas for two nights on the Strip. He and, loves it. And then he, he flew loves here. So anyways, he's going to be joining us because we're going to be starting a new you know segment. How, you know how Tony DeMarco, God bless his soul, yeah. never paid for a meal on a night then? Father Mikey never did either. <laughs> Every place he goes, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I, I don't well, know. Well, we're going to start a new segment this week. Called Advice from Father Mikey. I talked to him about it. And he's going to do it. He has the time. He's going to do it. He's going to take the time to do it. And uh, what we're going to do is, uh, we've already asked, we reached out last week, asked our listeners and viewers to send a question in. We're going to pick one question a week. And you can ask any question you want. And Father Mikey is going to be there to give you the advice. When's he coming in, do you know? Later on. You don't, you don't have no time. He's got a chauffeur. Who the hell knows what time this guy shows you up? You ever see that chauffeur? It's the freaking the limit was unbelievable. I know, but the guy is like three foot four. <laughs> you see, really? <laughs> All you see is a hat. It's like you're in Florida. You know how you see people? They got their hands in the yeah, yeah. You see is their hands in the steering wheel. Really? And you don't see the head? He's had that same chauffeur for a long time. Oh, yeah. 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 Anyway. His name is Pasquale. Yeah. <laughs> really? Would well, I lie to you? No. Uh, anyway, can we? Uh, is it okay? Mike mentioned the Kentucky Derby. Can we uh, offer congratulations to someone, or is it like an IRS thing? Do no, we, we can. We just don't talk about how much money it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to congratulate no. Chrissy on winning three thousand large. Hi, <laughs> nice, thanks. Congratulations. Yeah. So you had the long shot. I did. I did. You actually had a different horse, but that horse got the, the died. The horse no, the, they, they didn't die. Right, it was yeah, half dead. Horses, but two, but this he moved up. That's how this horse got in the race, right? Yeah, and apparently, I, I I I may have my information wrong, but I heard that neither the horse or the jockey has like I I don't know. Well, they obviously they've run before, but they've not they've not won or anything. Like they won The horse was yeah. claimed. They paid thirty thousand dollars for that for horse. that horse. Thirty thousand. That's it. He just paid for it. But you himself. know, did you watch the race? I did. So you know, well, I got a. I they were kind of lucky. Uh, they were kind of. Everybody lucky. opened the door. Exactly. Did you notice that this Nobody guy he, got boxed. He was against the rail, and he he wasn't going anywhere. And all of a sudden, the two horses in front of him it opened like, up, and it was like. It was like the parting of the Red yeah. Sea. Father Mikey might have had something right to do with it. Right through the hole. He yeah. might have had something to do with it. And the, and the favorite guy, it was the favorite, uh, whatever, epicenter, yeah, epicenter. Epicenter. The jockey was looking at him like, who the hell are you? you know? But I have to admit, David, I think you'll agree with me. They are magnificent animals. Oh, yeah. God, they're yeah. handsome. They're, they're, they're the three-year-old. They're, 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 they're kids. Oh, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. They're kids. They really are. I threw 500 a, on Secretariat. I lost. Oh, you oh, lost? I'm yeah. pissed. Yeah, I saw that post. I, I was really How pissed. How come you lost? I don't know, man. He's like, he didn't show up. I think he's in a glue factory now. Uh, I think he passed. Yeah. yeah. I think Aww. his kids passed then. His kids' kids passed. <laughs> he did. Huh? I tell you what. I, you don't remember this, you guys. I know you two won't. I know you will. But wow. that, that year, I wasn't even a race fan. But it was mesmerizing to watch Secretariat 
I mean, the first race, he blew, you know, he blew a few people away. But the second race, he won by 11 lengths. And I think it was the third race. That's the long one. 22 lengths he yeah. ran. He, I mean, he you just blew that? everybody, uh, just blew them away. I've watched the movie countless times. Great movie. Yeah. Tommy, you remember uh, Peter Fuller? Of course I do. Okay. You remember the, his horse? He danced his image. Yeah, he got screwed royally. No, he didn't. He yes, was he drugged. Did. He was. He that, was drugged. The, do, the horse had a headache. He I gave know. him a couple of Advils. <laughs> gave him some <laughs> Advils. Right. I love the way Mikey says horse. All right, All right listen. So we were talking last week about uh, a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about sauce and gravy and all that crap. And we. we wow, that stirred up quite a bit. I know. Of but, you know, you and I have been talking about. You were compl- we were both complaining about the Olive Garden, that it sucks. Agreed? Awful. So then we got onto the discussion. You of- know what bothers me more? What's that? Romano's Macaroni Grill. I'm, I'm just bringing this up because it's a local thing. They were here in Mithorn. And they had that beautiful building. Knocked it down. That Knock- building wasn't even four years Knocked old. Knocked it down and put they up tore o- it down. Olive Garden. Well, anyway. We both agree that the Olive Garden pretty much sucks. So then we got to talk. We said, you know something, Mikey? This should be a good thing because we've eaten at a lot of Italian chains over the years. And there are some that are actually pretty good. Some are good. Some are awful. Some are terrible. So Because you lose it. Exactly. You you know something? When you're controlling it, it's a whole different ballgame. When you have somebody in your place taking care of it, especially if you're spread out and you're in four or five, six countries. That becomes a problem. Absolutely. I mean, listen, you talk about Regina's Pizza. Regina's Pizza in the North End is excellent. That's a good point. The Regina's, the satellite Regina's, fair. Fair. There is a difference. Same thing with Pepe's. Same thing with Frank Pepe's. Um, I, I'm only going to, the only one I've been to outside of Connecticut, the other one in Connecticut it, down in, uh, was it, uh, New Haven? Yeah. Burlington? It, no, is the one at the Mohegan Sun. And there is no difference at all. But hold all. on. There's a, no reason, difference there's at a all. reason for that. I'll bet you that that pizza is made in New Haven. How far is New Haven from Mo- Mohegan? Not far. I'll bet you it's made at, in, at their original location, and they bring it up there. I don't know, Tommy. They do a hell of a business. All right, well, anyway, so you. over the course of the next rest of the show, we're going to give you our picks for the best Italian restaurant chains. We're going to start right now. And we're both on the same. I ate there once, once, and I thought it was very good. I, I don't. How many times have you eaten there? Maybe four. Four, four times. Or five. So number five. As a matter of fact, it happened to be in uh, where you go to vacation in the winter, Florida. Florida. Yeah, they have a lot of locations. They in have Florida. five. Yeah, that's where we ate. But the first one I ate at was in Vegas. Really? And I loved it. I thought it was very good. And then after that, it kind of. Well, that's why it's number five and not number one. So our choice for number five is Buca de Beppo. They have 96 locations. The people. Beppo. The people. Beppo. Oh, jeez. People. (laughs) Beppo. You want want to dance? Gesundheit. You want to dance? (laughs) Yeah, right. I'll dance with you about the name. It's Beppo. Maybe it is people. You could be right. (laughs) Buca de Beppo. Beppo. Whatever the hell you call it. Uh, Pretty good restaurant. We ate there in Florida. Outstanding. It, it was very good. Not the best, but how many chains are there in the country? H- hundreds of Italian chains. This is number five. I mean, we're in agreement. It's a very good restaurant, Mikey. You know something? I like it because it's family style. Uh, I like it because of the theme that they have. Yep. On the walls, they got a lot of uh, old people from Italy. They show a lot of... Seen some Italy up, Absolutely. up, up along Decor the Decor is nice. I noticed. It, the only thing that bothered me about that restaurant, right? You go to the men's room, and you got women laughing. It's like they're, they're that, recording a bunch of women sitting outside in the courtyard, and they're laughing. I didn't notice that. And you're that. trying to tinkle, and they're laughing. I don't know it if gives I me a complex. It know. gave me a complex. I don't know if I, if I used the facilities there when I was there. <laughs> but Ellen and I ate it when we, we liked it. We enjoyed it. Okay. Uh, so, number five, if you want a good restaurant, especially if you're down in Florida on vacation, check out Buca di Beppo. Beppo. Well, why is it, listen to me, there's two P's in it. So, the accent on the E. Accent this, all right? 
All right. Deep people. I'm not going to argue with you. All right. The, the other thing I liked about it, uh, the, the pitchers that are on the wall, they got Joe DiMaggio. They got this huge freaking pitcher right here. Joe D. Joe D. Uh, Sophia or Lauren. Sophia Lauren. She was hot. Mika, she had a pair. <laughs> she was wonderful. Loren? Yeah, Loren. Sophia Loren. She was pretty. She's, let me tell you something. She's still yeah. for her age. She's like 94. She's still an attractive it's woman. It's amazing. For her age. It really is. Anyway, um, I wanted to ask you. That's because she eats a lot of gravy. <laughs> Not so. Don't stop. <laughs> don't stop with that. Please oh, figure it would flip no, it around. Don't, don't stop with yeah. that. So what else? Uh, you went bowling. You and uh, Barbara went bowling. What the hell was that all about? No, I didn't. I didn't go bowling with Barbara, but I just want to talk about oh, uh, I you bowling see. in general. I, I, I'm going to. Uh, Where are you going to go? To a Jackson Bowling Trip? I wish I could go to Stadium Lane. Stadium Lane. not there anymore. <laughs> uh, big balls or small balls? balls? Ten ball. Ten ball. What's that? Big. The see, big my balls are big, too. I like the big balls. <laughs> what? Okay. The, the small balls, are, they're, uh, they're, they're, easy, they're easy to handle, right? No, no. Those are Go candle, ahead. candle pins? Candle pins, yeah. yeah. And, and ten pins. Go ahead, mouth No, it. ten pins versus <laughs> Back in the uh, 50s and 60s, in, in the city of Lawrence, David, and I'm sure in Lowell you had your places, ten pin was stadium lanes. Yeah. And the place was very, very popular. But you know, it died out. Because back then, it was more... We had a lot of factories in the city of Lawrence because it's an industrial city. And the guys would get together and form leagues in their, where yeah, they those, worked. Those days. But it was mostly blue-collar workers. It's changing completely. Well, let me ask you. It's changing completely. Did you have a bowl? You lived in South Lawrence. Yeah. Did you have a bowl at that Ridgewood on South Union Street? Oh, downstairs? Yeah. What a hole in the oh, wall wow. that was. You had to kick the rats out of the way, but other than that, it wasn't. And they used to have the pin setters. Yeah, that's they used right. To have, David, at, at the old Jackson Bowler Drum on Jackson Street and at, at this dive on South Union Street in Lawrence, you would bowl like a quarter, and they would have actual pin setters. They'd have these guys yeah. that like would sit at the end on a chair and, and reset them. And then after you, after you did that, they had to set the pins up again. That sounds like a fun job. Imagine yeah. that. But... That stadium lanes was really great. Uh, my <laughs> state of the art at the time. My point to all of this is, right now, David, in, in, in the world, there's between 80 million to 100 million people bowling. Bowling is it's huge coming again. It's, it's coming gotten back. expensive, too. It's very. It, but you know you what know, it is? Like it's, everything else. it's an event. It's, it's an it, event that anybody can do. Christy. Uh, do you know anything about bowling? Do you have bowling in Australia? You we must. have ten pin, otherwise around in this area called big ball. We don't do <laughs> candle pin. Really. Oh, you okay. don't do candle pin. Candle well, pin's a New England thing, right? Really. Yeah, yeah. Is it, it is. a New England? Okay. Yeah. They're, they're, okay. they're small. They're yeah, I've look. done it and I laugh at. I'm like, because most people are like, let's <laughs> go bowling. That I'm is that is a New England thing. It's, like, it's, no, it's, no, it's a lot of fun, and any age can play it. Yeah. You yeah. don't have to be a big, strong guy. Yeah. A woman can bowl better than most men sometimes. And that's another thing. Right now, the bowlers, 50% men, well, 50% I, I gotta women. Well, I've got to tell you something. So My that's, mother a, that's a good a thing. Uh, I, I go, there's a, really? there's a fabulous, fabulous bowling alley. It's not even a bowling alley. It's an event place up near my house. I think it's called... It used to be called Leo's Super Bowl, but now it's something else. You walk into this place, man, and you think you're walking into a nightclub. Oh, into that's a, I the mean, upscale. At night, when you bowl, right, there's laser lights, music, colors. I mean, it's like, wow. Saturday night's disco night, and the people freaking love it. You can't <laughs> get into these places. They all have bars. They all, but you can cute. buy liquor, food. Bring it right picture, there. Picture something like, say, at Joe Farrell's Tuscan Village. Picture a beautiful, beautiful space. Bowling on the bottom, go up three or four steps, and a nice big lounge looking, and, and not serving gas station food. I agree. Be you, fabulous. It would be golden. So when I say, say golden, guys? golden, Chrissy? Chrissy would be there twice a week. Are you in? Yeah. You, you, you got you, three thousand bucks. We, we you invest? could bowl a couple of strings. Let's open up. Let's so open easy. up. Mister wins at the casino every other week. <laughs> I know. Yeah, really. Let's, Let's really open up here. a high-end bowling alley up at the Tuscan Village. Ooh. I know some people that That'll live up cool. in that area. Yeah. Too. Right. You must yeah. know a few that live up there too. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah. But anyways, I, I think bowling my, is coming my back. Grand, my grandkids, uh, one of them had a birthday. I'm glad you're bringing that up. One of them had a birthday party there, and it was lights out. It was lights out. Not only that, but most of these bowling alleys now, besides the bowling alley, they have a giant arcade for the kids. Yeah. with it yeah. that, that, that is attached to it. Fabulous. Uh, that we're was talking, my we're favorite talking, part. Yeah. we're talking talent. You like the arcades? A three, a, a nine year them. old boy, a nine year old kid just bowled a perfect game. Really? The oldest one to just bowl. Big uh, balls or little balls? Big balls. Bumpers big balls. or no bumpers? He rolled them down there. He got them down. Nine years old. He's probably a big kid. Yeah. But a perfect 300. Can you believe well, that? And the oldest, 92 years old. So what I'm saying is here, young. Old, well, you anybody they, can play. You know what the, the other thing that they do, I don't know if you're aware of this, for What's little up? kids. Hmm. Like if they have 15 lanes, right, three of them will be gutterless. In other words, I didn't know that. there's no gutters for the little oh. kids, little, little kids. Wow. So you can just bowl and it bounces off the, the side, side wall. There's you, no gutters. Do yeah, you know cool. what they charge for? Uh, 80 bucks. 80 bucks for a string. No, I'm kidding. I no, it's a, it's a lot. It's not I'm 80, sure but it's it high. Because someone went at, I work with at the other place was complaining about how much it costs. Really? Uh, yeah. But you know, the other thing is, you get businesses, you get the team management guys together. They're doing this more and more. Businesses are supplying. Of course. And the leagues are being popped up. Cocktails. They're no more blue collar. No it's all. kidding. Why don't I, we take a break? All right, we're going to take a break. So remember, uh, Buca de Beppo is number five for the list on the list of best Italian chains. We're going to hit number four as soon as we come. Oh, no, we're not going to hit number four. My man is coming in. My man is coming in after this break. Wow. I'm really excited. Hang in it. We'll be right back. Ciao, this is Esther of You, Me, and Sicily. I want to talk to you about Tommy Amin and the great staff at Butcher Boy Market. Families, foodies, and home chefs come together at Butcher Boy to talk good food and create traditions. They offer the best in quality cuts of beef, pork, lamb, poultry, and restaurant-style steaks and chops. Produce? All of their produce is hand-selected to complement any meal or even to make it your main course. Their deli serves fresh roast beef, turkey, and beautiful imported Italian cold cuts, cheeses, and antipasto. And don't forget the Butcher Boy Bakery, featuring sweet delectables from all over the state, as well as their very own bakery. That's Butcher Boy, where the secret to a great steak is, of course, the steak. Located at 1077 Oscar Street in North Andover, Massachusetts, in the Butcher Boy Plaza. Ciao! Looking for that something special? All of us here at the Sicilian Corner suggest trying Ristorante Uno, located at 119 Salem Street in Boston's historic North End. For the most exquisite dining experience in an intimate setting that serves authentic regional Italian cuisine and features old country service, try Ristorante Uno. Did we mention their award-winning wine cellar? Ristorante Uno, 119 Salem Street in Boston's historic North End. Call 617-573-9406 for reservations. That's 617-573-9406. Tell them the boys from the Sicilian Corner sent you. Today. 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 Today, Lawrence General Hospital has affiliations with leading Boston academic medical centers, top specialists from Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and Floating Hospital for Children at Tufts Medical Center, work with our local doctors to bring world-class care close to home. Today, amazing partnerships are happening at Lawrence General Hospital. To learn more, visit lawrencegeneral.org slash today. Italian artisan cuisine combines simple fresh ingredients with time-honored preparation to create an incredible culinary experience. At Tuscan Kitchen, located in Salem's historic depot district, talented chefs prepare everything in-house from scratch for all to see. Guests enjoy their meal literally in our kitchen as food is prepared right in front of you. Wood ovens burn from morning till night, roasting vegetables, baking bread, and firing delightful thin-crust pizzas. Prime steaks are seared on a wood grill. 
Grill, a rotisserie slowly roast marinated whole chickens and lamb, while a pasta maker creates fresh fettuccine. More than just artisan cuisine, Tuscan Kitchen features the wine bar, live entertainment, weekly wine tastings, and elegant private dining and event space. Call 603-952-4875 or visit TuscanKitchen.com to make a reservation and learn more about the culinary adventure that awaits. In Italy, cooking is an art form. Tuscan Kitchen. Experience artisan Italian. Essex Orthopedics and Optima Sports Medicine is pleased to announce the opening of their American College of Radiology accredited MRI unit at their location at 16 Pelham Road in Salem, New Hampshire. So now, in addition to receiving the best orthopedic care in the Merrimack Valley, as well as physical and occupational therapy at Optima Sports Therapy and Rehab, you can also have your MRI all in one convenient location. The doctors and staff of Essex Orthopedics and Optima Sports Medicine have been dedicated to providing outstanding medical care to the Merrimack Valley in southern New Hampshire since 1984. Located on Route 97, just off exit 2 from Route 93 North, on the second floor of the Workout Club of Salem. You deserve best care, and that's exactly what you'll get from the board-certified surgeons at Essex Orthopedics and Optima Sports Medicine. Please call 603-898-2244 to schedule an appointment. A loyal sponsor for the Sicilian Corner is Hilton Oil Company. Hilton Oil has been located right across from the South Lawrence Common since 1932 at 101 South Union Street. Hilton Oil Company specializes in 24-hour burner service, oil deliveries, including automatic deliveries, serving all the Merrimack Valley area, plus portions of southern New Hampshire. If you want your car fixed right the first time, bring it to Hilton's state-of-the-art service station. Remember, Hilton's is also a mass state inspection station. Hilton Oil Company, 101 South Union Street in Lawrence. Call 978-687-9793. This is Cindy and Mike Kunzla, owners of Grazia Italian Restaurant in Dragut, Massachusetts. The hidden gem of the Merrimack Valley. In addition to spectacular views overlooking our golf course, we have an incredible Italian chef, Benny Curdy. Benny was born and raised in Italy and came to be our executive chef in 2013. Benny is so passionate about cooking. If you haven't experienced the food at Grazia Italian Restaurant, you're truly in for a treat. Grazia Italian Restaurant, located at Four Oaks Country Club. Okay, uh, we're, we're back, and I am honored, <laughs> absolutely honored. As well you should be. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you were going to say that. <laughs> Father Mikey, how have you been? You know something, Thomas? Life is good. Now, life is good. You just flew in. Where have you been? Uh, it was kind of like a sabbatical in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> so you took a sabbatical in Vegas, which kind of is... You know, unprecedented for a priest. Did you just hang out? Who are you with? Well, as you know, I'm semi-retired now. Yeah. Uh, and I do like the game of chance. <laughs> and do. I couldn't help but hear, Chrissy, you did very, very well. I did. Uh, <laughs> and I'm extremely, extremely happy for you. Thank I really you. am. I mean, now, I feel, I feel you like you have to guy. pay taxes on that. I'm not sure. Chrissy, Father Mikey, he, he knows the angles, so you may want to listen to him on that. You were in a, in a pool. Is that my understanding? Correct. No, you're all set. <laughs> you can bury that like a bone. Awesome. Father Mikey, yeah. you really shouldn't be giving out that kind of um, advice. This is just my opinion, how to circumvent the system. How do you think the Rockefellers, the Kennedys... How do you think they amassed the fortunes that they did? Because they didn't pay taxes. What you call it? They didn't pay taxes. You know, the, you, 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 it, it you, takes you've a aged lot. a little bit, though, because the skin hangs, hangs over the collar a little bit now. Well, I am getting older. Well, I mean, there's no question. Well, anyway, that. so how's Sister Good and Plenty doing? She's doing good. She's still there. Now, is she with you in Vegas? Yeah. Yeah. We have separate rooms. <laughs> I would hope so. Yeah. I would uh, hope side so. by side with connecting doors, but <laughs> there were separate All rooms. Right. Right. Because, Let's, you know, people, Tom... They're cruel, and they're looking. They're looking for the badness in people, you know. So my, you're trying to prove them wrong. That's right. That's why we paid for an extra room. <laughs> that's good. All right. It's all so, about board. starting this week, um, and by the way, uh, if anybody out there has a question, we're gonna. The segment is called "Advice from Father Mikey." 
And uh, feel free to message me, message us, ask the question on Facebook Live, and we'll pick one for next week's question. So, Father Mikey, how come no Sambuca? There's no Sambuca in this coffee. Who made the coffee? David? Yeah, I did. Sorry. I'm we're running low on Zambuca. Well, what kind of coffee I, is this? I, 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 it hadn't been blessed yet, so. David. Well, All right. Anyway, th uh, things are good. It's a pleasure to be with you. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate this. Congratulations on the show. My gosh. Thank you. It's amazing what's yeah. going on. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry Mike wasn't here, but he's... Uh, I passed him. I was, yeah, he's... I just walked in. He, had, he, he, he was, was rushing down to the Bacau. Yeah, he was in the men's What do you have, some hot chili uh, peppers or something? He ate. But anyways. All right, so this week's question uh, is... Now, who... who People are writing in to you? People are going to write in or message us for one question because they're looking for spiritual guidance from you. They are looking for advice because you have... Listen, you I'm, are on I'm, the committee that chose the Pope. I was involved. <laughs> you were involved. I, I was involved. That was a fix, and we both know that. And you, you just you ramrodded it through. So what's his name? Francis? What was that guy's name? Francis? Right? You bought to the other guys. No, he won. I didn't bought to yeah, nobody. He won. I didn't bought to nobody. Your guy is in. That's all I know. Now, this we're going to do this segment like every other week, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, not every week because Father Mikey, you're, I don't you're have busy. the time. And you're but busy. I am around for the whole summer. That's great. Except for Maine, <laughs> Vermont, <laughs> and Connecticut <laughs> next week. Because uh, I do, I, I try to spread. I know you do. <laughs> you're spreading yourself pretty thin, if you ask me, but we won't go down that road. All right, so this, this is this week's question. Let, let, me, uh, let me get focused here. Uh, let's, let's listen to something. Dear Father Mikey. Yes. My boyfriend and I have been together for 10 years. I am a widow, and he is a widower. I am 79, and he is 81. Recently... I let him get to first base. Do you think it's okay to allow him to circle the bases? We both think that we are ready. Signed, a chick with not too much time left. Well, is there a first name associated with this? I, 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 I was asked not to mention it. So you want me to repeat it? Yeah, Because I know you're a little slow sometimes. <laughs> My boyfriend and I have been together for 10 years. I'm a widow, and he's a widower. I'm 79, and he's 81. Recently, I let him get to first base. Do you think it's okay to allow him to circle the bases? We both think that we are ready. Signed, a chick with not too much time left. I Personally, I feel in the bottom of my heart, I want you to enjoy yourself. It's 79 years old. You should do whatever, ever pleases you. If it happens to be of sexual content, that is absolutely A-OK. -okay. How would you know? <laughs> I'm just asking the question. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, you know, life is too short. I want everyone, especially this young lady who took the time to write in. She's freaking 79. She's still a young lady. He's 81. Yeah, well... <laughs> What about you got to have some imagination <laughs> and uh, supplements and <laughs> supplements Viagra, right? No, I, I think I, I don't find any problem with that whatsoever. I, you know, my child, be happy. I want you to be happy. Whatever it takes, be happy. Thank you. And I mean that sincerely. <laughs> and that's a good question. And there are a lot of people that are in that situation. And, you know, uh, I hope that, as far as I'm concerned, you have my blessing. You have my blessing. <laughs> well, thank you very much You've for coming. You've gone to quite a bit of an expense to have me. a little background. Listen, thank you for coming. We will see you in a couple of weeks. Uh, and I want to see Michael. Well, he's, he, he, may, he may be back. Uh, later on, uh, maybe when you're when you're leaving. But again, thank you so much for coming, Thomas. Indeed, my pleasure. Thank you, and say hi to and Sister Good and Plenty. Tonight you'll be at the mass. I will. I will. And, and where is it? What trailer park is it in? I'm sorry. What trailer park is it in? Trailer park. Yeah. I, I, the, no, the one that you're doing. 
Oh, the one I'm doing? Yeah. It's up in Derry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Annie Oakley, okay. trailer park. <laughs> All right. I don't know if you're familiar with Route All right. 28. All right. Bye. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. All right. Peace. David. <clears throat> What a, what a hamburger, I'll tell you. <laughs> Speaking of hamburger, oh. I want to talk about my good friend Tommy Yamin and the great staff at Butcher Boy Market. Chrissy, families, foodies, and home chefs come together at Butcher Boy to talk good food and create traditions. They offer the best in quality cuts of beef, pork, lamb, poultry, and restaurant-style steaks and chops. Produce... All of our produce, all of their produce, is hand-selected to complement any meal or even to make it your main course. The deli serves fresh roast beef, turkey, and beautiful imported uh, Italian cold cuts, cheeses, and antipasto. And don't forget the Butcher Boy Bakery, featuring sweet delectables from all over the state as well as their own bakery. That's Butcher Boy's, where the steak, <laughs> where the secret to a great steak is the steak. Located at 1077 Osgood Street, not the Andover Mass, at the Butcher Boys Plaza. I'm going to pick up some Delmonico's there for this Ooh, weekend. I'm going, to, I'm going to pick them up on Friday, and we're going to grill them on Sunday. Beautiful. Look, oh, Mikey back. Boy. Back. Mike. How are you? Where the hell are you? I just passed. Did you him. see him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was... Uh, did, what do you think? He looks pretty good. He does. He looks very good. Right? He looks very good. I don't know where he's rushing. He's going to be what? 81, 82? Uh, he's 77. He's 77. He looks good. But boy, I'll tell you, he's as active now as he's ever been. Did you guys have a nice little Yeah, visit? it was good. He, uh, he you couldn't know, stay long. He couldn't stay long. I'm going to go to his You know the tonight. Salem cops were trying to ticket the limo for illegal parking? Oh, you looked out there? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to go to his... Uh, he's having a mass tonight at the trailer park up in Derry. And the Oakleys. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. check it out. Yeah, what the hell? Well, he's a good You guy. know something, I... I Nice man. His heart's in the right place. It is. He's, All uh, right. he's helping a lot of people. All right. So our first choice was, our fifth choice was Buca de, de Beppo. And uh, David got a, a confirmation on that. It is de Beppo. So number four. It depends on where you're from. All right. De Beppo. Okay, fine. Uh, our restaurant choices if for you're from number Wyndham, four. If you're from Wyndham, it's Beppo. What do you think it is? It's Beppo. Our choices for number four kind of differed. Yeah. Mayan was Bertucci's. And I really like Bertucci's, Mikey, and I'll tell you why. They ha I think their pizza is very good. On a scale of 1 to 10, I put it at about a 7. Their pizza, it's very good. But their side, their other dishes, they suck. Oh, I think I disagree with you. I, I, I don't like it. I think, I think, I think they leave a lot to be no, desired. I, I think their red sauce is pretty damn good. You, get some, you stick with the red sauce. Get away from the Alfredo crap and the white sauces. You stick with the red sauce at Bertucci's. A good vodka sauce once in a while. Does the hot? It warms the hot. They have ravioli. They have yeah. baked lasagna. They have just marinara sauce. Uh, it doesn't. It, it the pizza is the strong suit. And, I agree. And, <clears throat> I agree. To me, the side dishes that go with it, the entrees. Do you remember uh, when we got the award? Joey Cardinelli when we won the Italian Heritage he, Award? He, he won an award too. It's September thirtieth of uh, twenty sixteen. Yeah, we yeah, won that. Yeah, the owner. At he was the a good guy. We, we had a few laughs with him. He was a nervous wreck. I he was he worse was. than you and yeah. I. Yeah. We, uh, David, you should have seen him. We sat in these chairs. How high were those chairs? I'm six foot two. Yeah. My feet barely touched the this ground. This was in the state house I mean, on the podium. Your feet were like wobbling <laughs> yeah. around. And Joey w was relatively short. Yeah. He, His, he was like this far from the He was the, the owner of all the Bertucci's, but he had just sold them. Yeah. He, all right. So anyway, I like Bertucci's. Now, you I'm going to take issue with because this shouldn't even be in here. Mike chose as number four California Pizza Kitchen. That's a that's a strict pizza joint. It is like hell. Come on, get out of town. Uh, what do they offer? Yeah, I have salmon there. I love their salmon. Their food. You think it's fresh? Of course it is. They they they're huge. I know they're big. And their food is outstanding. Their drinks are outstanding. Their nachos for an appetizer. Phenomenal. How's their wow. pizza? Italian their pizza nachos? is good, but yeah. I, I have only had pizza there once. I order a meal meal. That, to me, is a restaurant. David, can you do me a favor? Uh, I, uh, could you look up and what qualifies a restaurant as a chain? How many units? Three. It's got to be more than five. 
I think it's probably 10. Well, I don't know, but I've been to the California. I've been to the one in San Francisco. Okay. Yeah. It, no, it was, we had pizza. It was great. Uh, yes, Chrissy. I, I thought we were doing Italian chains. How is California pizza That's a kitchen? Dip? Another good question. You mentioned nachos. I didn't know Italy was right. known for That's nachos. That's another good question. And so, Southern Italy is very, yeah. very popular. Oh, really? Oh, nachos? <laughs> wow. You know something? I'll tell you I what. I know that. I'm, I'm calling, the California, I gotta tell I'm you, calling shenanigans. Tommy, if you ate there, and I don't believe you have. I have. I've had honestly, I've had pizza there in San Fran, but it's not pizza. Make, pizza, pizza, pizza. It's I'm called, talking. I'm talking meals. It's called this the shop. California pizza, whatever the hell it's called. There's no, there's nothing Italian about it except the word pizza. Tommy, their food is phenomenal, and they do have some good Italian dishes. So I have an answer to your question. Go ahead. This is according to the internet, so you know it's true. A chain, there's, a, there's different factors. So a chain restaurant is any restaurant with a headquarters in another state. Yep. Any restaurant with more than 10 units. Any restaurant with a corporate <laughs> regulatory structure. Any restaurant on the stock market. Thank Boom. you. Oh. All right. So 10. Well, not three. You I, have it not as five. You have it as number four. It's not even on my radar. How's wow. that? Tommy, their food, is, their food is excellent. Not even on my radar. We're not arguing that it's not excellent. I was just confused. That I thought this was the Italian, top five Italian restaurants they have in America. One of their owners who started it was Italian. Ah. You're full of crap. <laughs> you are so full of crap. All right, listen, we have one more, David. We have enough time for one more pick. Wait, sure. I, have, I still have another question on that. So by that, by that logic, we're saying, let's say, for example, the owner of Market Basket was a Italian. an Asian person. Is that an Asian grocery store now? <laughs> well, it depends on what they, they, they want to highlight. <laughs> they could bring in a lot of 50-pound bags of rice. <laughs> Can't have enough rice. <laughs> okay. All right. Really, I, you know, I'm following you, your seriously. logic here. I mean, that's, I can't argue great. with that. I, no, I'm not arguing no, either. I, All right, number three. Now, we? this one here, I could go either way. I, uh, my pick for number three was Romano's Macaroni Grill. I thought, Mac, I thought Romano's at the time they were down here, I thought the food was excellent. Me too. Very good. It was quality. It was two levels. And I'm agreeing with you. It was two levels higher than Olive Garden. I think we agree with that. Olive Garden serves pedestrian food. Yeah, I forget the Olive Garden. But let's talk. Romano's, it, it bothered me when they got out of the door. Right. It really did. All right, so, we're in, so you agree. I, I'm agreeing with you. I have it as number three. Now, you have for number three, which I... I could see this one too, Carabas. You have Carabas as number three, and uh, Carabas. I put Carabas in the category of very, very good. Carabas, in my definition of Carabas, upscale, casual. I would refer to it as that. I, I upscale, I, I, casual, because I think it's head and shoulders above most. And their food is very good. The place is immaculate. All right. The All place right. And is I immaculate. buy that. All right. So, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit number two now. Have you ever had their sangria? I don't, I'm not a sangria guy. Mm. Chrissy, are you? I like sangria. Can I hit one more? Yeah, why not? Right, I'm, I'll tell you why. Because we're going to hold off number one. Because number two, we've already talked about. My number two is Carabas. Mm. And your number two is Romano's Macaroni Grill. So right. they're both Excellent restaurants. Um, I, I'm looking at price. I'm looking at quality. Yeah, I like Carabas a little better. Carabas is. I liked it a little better than than Romano's. The one you, in you don't. the one in Nashua, uh, David. You ever go up there? Yes. Uh, they run a good operation. Yeah. Uh, and I like it because it's immaculate. You can always judge a restaurant by their restrooms. App, right here. Right on. Absolutely. Brother. I couldn't agree with the uh, the barking dog in Amesbury. We've eaten dinner there. And, and what did I say? You walked out of the restaurant. You walked out of the restaurant. And I don't blame I you. I had to go for a tetanus shot. <laughs> oh. I, I don't blame you for that. But anyway, uh, I, Ellen and I have eaten at the Carabas. Their last name is appropriate. Barking dog. 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 The, uh, Ellen and I have eaten at the Carabas in Florida on numerous occasions. It's right up the street from us. When we want a quick meal... That's where we go. So that's in the five-mile radius? Oh, yeah. It's within uh, 1.8. 1.8. It doesn't suffice. Can I tell you something? All kidding aside, we have really expanded our footprint this year. Well, we've traveled as, as much as nine miles. 
Dinner. Wow. I got to admit, though, Much Thursday, nine miles Thursday you were a sport. We got together at the Phoenician. Who picked up the tab? I think we uh, split it, didn't we? We didn't split crap. You weren't even there. Oh, the Phoenician. I'm talking about What's wrong with you? I'm talking about what a is wrong? I'm with talking you? about T Bones across the street last week. I couldn't do it last now, week. Now, you know something? No, they, you didn't do they it. They delivered my tractor. I you told you. You couldn't that. do it because you knew that we were going to split the tab and I got stiffed. <laughs> and Chrissy and David both offered, and I said, no, this is on me. ATS Communications is picking this up. With that, I'm taking a as break. Well, I don't want to talk as about well it. you should. We're going to take a quick break. We come back. We're going to give us number one. And I want to talk about one other thing. What's that? I want to talk about today's comedians. They're not it's even the funny, tees. most of Call them. Call the T's. I disagree with you. Hang in there. We'll be right back. This is David from the Sicilian Corner. You know Mike, Tom, and I love to go to Salisbury Beach, but we love different things, and we can never agree. Tom likes the casual family-style dining with great Italian cuisine, Capri Seaside Italian Grill. Me, I love the elegant romantic vibe, sea glass with the amazing view and terrific menu with prices that'll make it the place you want to visit every week. Mike loves a drink in his hand and a cool ocean breeze right off the surf and the rhythms of an even cooler reggae band. We all know Mike loves Bob Marley tunes at Surfside. Who doesn't love a great show? National acts, comedy, regional favorites, and the beautiful and intimate Blue Ocean Music Hall. Lucky for us, Atlantic Hospitality is the host of all these great places, and they treat everyone like they're Mike Lamazzo. And best of all, we never have to choose. Park the car once, and all of this fun is right at your fingertips. We can have it all in the heart of Salisbury Beach. Find out about all the ways you can have a great night at Salisbury Beach at NorthShorePavilion.com. And Mike, Tom, and I will see you there. This is Tom Zappala, located in the heart of downtown Haverhill, The Havel Beef Company is a full-service, old-fashioned butcher shop and meat market that continues to be a valued family tradition since 1952. Peter and Monica Carboni's Havel Beef offers individualized service from an outstanding selection of marinated sirloin tips, homemade sausage, marinated chicken, and thick, juicy chairman reserve steaks. Your family deserves the best, so call Peter at 978-374-4795 or visit their website at w www.haverbeef.com. Hi, this is Mike, and I would like to tell you about the Deborah K. Law Offices, a firm that is focused on estate planning, probate, trust administration, and elder law issues. You will feel comfortable discussing important issues concerning both you and your loved ones, as well as having the information you need to make an informed decision about your family's future. How do I know? Because I'm a client of Dan Deborah Care. If you want to have peace of mind knowing that your loved ones are protected, call Deborah K. Law Offices today in Massachusetts. 978-686-4645 in New Hampshire, 603-894-4141. At Catadella Funeral Home, we reinvest in our business to provide your family with the best facilities. It begins with a beautifully landscaped exterior, parking for 250 vehicles, and a comfortable and inviting access to our renovated interior. Funerals can be costly, so you should review and compare plans to make sure you receive services that are fairly priced. I invite you to experience the Catadella difference in cost, facility, and service. Catadella is honoring and celebrating the lives of the people we loved, providing exceptional care since 1929. This is Cindy and Mike Kunzla, owners of Grazi Italian Restaurant in Dragut, Massachusetts. The hidden gem of the Merrimack Valley. In addition to spectacular views overlooking our golf course, we have an incredible Italian chef, Benny Curdy. Benny was born and raised in Italy and came to be our executive chef in 2013. Benny is so passionate about cooking. If you haven't experienced the food at Grazi Italian Restaurant, you're truly in for a treat. Grazi Italian Restaurant, located at Four Oaks Country Club. All uh, right, see, this is what I'm talking about, you being old school, because you, you, you're totally closed-minded about a lot of things, and this is one of the subjects that you're closed-minded about. I used, I just mentioned the word comedian, and out of your mouth, none of them are funny right I now. didn't say that. That's, who's, we have an Italian comedian. We went to see at uh, Boston. Garden. Maniscalco? Uh, yeah. He's good. Good. He's good. Phenomenal. He's good. Phenomenal. Say the word phenomenal. I don't Can agree you with say that. it? I don't think Can you pronounce it? I don't think he's phenomenal. I he, think he's good. The guy, without using the four-letter word every other sentence, I, well, he I, is phenomenal. I, he's very, very And talented. I recommend to anybody, if he comes in the area again, go see him. Have you ever seen Lewis Black? No. Have you guys ever seen Lewis Black? Yeah. What he's, do you think, David? I think he's very funny. I think he's tremendous. Yeah. Lewis Black? 
You don't like him? I, no, I'm not sure if I've seen him. Louis I Black, not, I'm I think, is he's hysterical. Yeah. He's political. He's very political, but he's, he has such great delivery. But putting him aside, <laughs> I went online. And I checked a couple of different Johnny Carson to me. Well, <laughs> oh, Lewis Black, yeah, you're, you're not crazy yeah. about him. Yeah, See, I also he, political like Ali. Yeah, that, right. I, you know something. I I want to be entertained. I don't want to listen to your thoughts. I don't want to hear what you have to say. You go to a Madonna concert. You're spending five hundred bucks for a ticket, and I have to be preached. Well, that's a different situation. No, no, it's not. It's kind of similar. No, it isn't because if you're doing stand up and it's political stand up, the whole the whole premise is if for it to be funny, and I think Lewis Black is hysterical. But putting that aside, I went online, I checked about four or five different sites, and they, I have the top, based on all the data, the top okay. 10 of all time. I want to get your opinion. Number 10, Don Rickles. Should be higher. See, yeah. I think Rickles was great. Rickles I do too. He you, might be. You asked me a question. You didn't give me a chance to answer it. I think he should be higher too. He was funny. Yeah, they have him as number ten right till the end. Oh, he would. They have him at number ten. What are your yeah. thoughts on him? You. I loved him. Yeah, I thought he was great. Number nine, who I think, when I'm going back to the '70s. There was no better stand-up comic at the time than Steve Martin. When Steve Martin was doing funny. live concerts way back in 1972, 73, he was, he was cutting edge. Really? He kind of really changed the whole uh, concept of concert comedy. Yeah. He was like really mm -hmm. the first guy that would, would do stand-up in front of 20,000 people. Yeah, and it was entertainment yeah. too. It yeah. was because he sung and he did all that. He, yeah. was, he was great. Who you got number eight? Number eight. I don't like him. I've only heard him once. You, he's more your generation. Billy Burr. Oh, yeah. Bill Burr? Bill Burr, That yeah. is my... So him and Don Rickles, but they're from different generations. That is my... He's funny. Is that He's right. very funny. Bill Burr. Oh, boy. Yeah. Bill Burr, Burr is I, I've never, one of the I've funniest... I've never seen him. I, I've, I've seen him once, and he's very cutting edge. He's mm -hmm. very insulting. Same thing. Yeah. But... I, he's good. He's, yeah, he's good. Not, it's not about because he's not worried about all that PC BS. He just says what he says. Yeah. If you take offense to it, like lighten it's a up. You problem. Like it's it's a joke for a reason. I, I, he's I'm playing the god. And he's oh, or was it TD? He's oh, is he? Uh, yeah, uh, the Fenway Park. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Fenway. Uh, yeah, he threw out the first pitch. Uh, what he's, did he? he's doing a gig there this no, summer. No, he's doing. A gig yeah, there he is doing summer. a gig there. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, Bill Burry, yeah. you may want to check him out. He I must have a big following. Oh, he's huge. Huge. He's huge. His opening act, none other Remember? than Tony V himself, a good friend of the uh, cigar. Tony, right? Tony, Tony V, v is, you know who him. Tony V is? Is that? Um, Vitaly's brother. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, Tony V, another good comedian. He might not be on your top ten list, but he's bloody funny. All right. The How next? about Roger Dangerfield? Can wait, you wait? Wait, wait. let him oh, get wait. Yes, come on. Just wait. I can't. Number seven. Okay, number seven. No, <laughs> ten, nine, eight, seven. Chris Rock. Chris Rock is number seven. I like him. I think Chris Rock is yeah. very, very yeah. funny. Yeah, he's funny. I don't know if I agree with the numbering. Are we talking? We're talking list of all time funny. Yeah. No, yeah. I yeah. I, I, I what I did was I went to too. about five different sites and kind of took an average. Okay. Right. Keep going. Chris Rock. Uh, next one. Rodney Dangerfield. There you go. Dangerfield's great. My man. Great. Dangerfield was yep, great. He was funny. Very, Absolutely. very. I'll tell you some of the uh, some of the stuff that you see Dangerfield and Don Rickles on old Johnny Carson. Carson hysterical. Yeah. Absolutely hysterical. Absolutely hysterical. Uh, number four, five. Five. five, five, no, five, four, three, no, four. Oh no, five. Just trust Ro us. Robin Williams. Uh, definitely. Robin Williams. There's going to be an asterisk there, because Robin Williams, in my opinion probably the greatest of all time because of the way his mind worked. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, yeah. there was nothing that was very, very little scripted. I mean, he would do a whole stand-up, and someone would ask a question from the audience, and he would do a 15-minute yeah, diatribe, yeah. and people would that's be... That's a talent. Pe yeah, that's... His mind was a little different. Yeah. I mean, I've seen him... Uh, I, I saw him on the Actors Guild. Remember that show? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He came on... They asked him one question. And he talked for 15 a, minutes. Half hour. <laughs> yeah. Half hour, and the, the people were rolling in the air. You know, I forget about him. He, he was yeah. very talented, yeah. but he had, he had some issues. Number four? Number four, who I think is very good, Eddie Murphy. 
Yes. Eddie Murphy yep. Raw, yep. one of the greatest concerts I've ever seen. Eddie Murphy was great. Delirious is better. Delirious number is number one. Oh, de yes. Delirious, Delirious is and great. then Raw. Number three, real quickly, I thought it was very good at the time, Richard Pryor. Heck yes. Excellent. Awesome. Number two, I'm not crazy about. Everybody loves him. My kids love him. Dave Chappelle. I'm not a big Dave Chappelle fan. Me neither. What do you reckon, Mikey? I don't, I don't uh, follow Dave, him at all. Uh, what do we have for time left? Uh, you have about six minutes. Okay, so we got plenty Seven of time. Seven minutes. Dave Chappelle. I'm not a big Dave Chappelle fan. Yeah, he's okay. I, he'd probably be in the top <laughs> ten, but I'd have Don Rickles higher, way higher. Yeah. Somebody sent me a clip and said he was the great, and I disagreed I with it. I, I've gotten the same. I think when he hits, he hit like some of his stuff. I'll roll on Chappelle? the floor laughing. Yeah, but then I, another skit, especially the Chappelle show, that yeah, good one point. skit, and I'd be normally crying laughing. Really? But then the next one, I'm like, yeah, yes. I've seen him a couple yes. of times. See, I would have Pryor <coughs> above him because with no Richard Pryor, you don't have Dave Chappelle. Inter that's oh, a absolutely. good point. That's a very so, good that's point. Or, or Eddie Murphy, right? I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Number one, hmm. number one, I totally 100% agree with, and I think most of the world agrees with this. Wait, should we all take a guess? Yeah, there? go. Well, who do you what think do you it, say? Number one. Who would you think Did, if you saw it, it, then don't guess. Did you see it? I no, I didn't. Who, who's number one? For pure, greatest in the world of all time. Stand up community. According to all of the, I have to go with Lucille Ball. Okay, David? Wow. Uh, Stand up? Oh, I don't know about stand, stand up. up. This yeah, is stand up. I don't up. even know um, who would be the best of all time. Hands um, down, I think. Oh, really? Um, I don't know. You so, so you Lucio pick. Ball doesn't count. No. Yeah, no, Chrissy, because some of those guys. You know what I think? Don't people, cheat. No, I because I was just trying to think of who I. You know what I I I won't agree with it if it is, but I have a feeling is Jerry Seinfeld going to nope. be up. Wow. Yeah, okay. No, I would no. agree. That's George, he, Seinfeld was about twenty fifth. Was he really? Yeah. Who is it? George Collin. Yeah, he was uh, excellent. George yeah. Carlin. Yep. Forgot George Carlin. But he also got political, too. He did, but he did a lot of other things. Yeah. George Carlin, yeah. his, his dry delivery, I Very. thought, was just yeah. spectacular. But, you know, there's who, a couple. Who was, the, there was a show on TV, and uh, it was a, he was a junk dealer with his son. Red Fox. Red, Fo Red Fox. No, I saw Red Fox. Red Fox the, was in the top 25. <laughs> Red, Red Fox. To Very me. good. He he did a segment. He was a stand up. Yeah, guy. I saw him in Vegas. Yeah, he was. He did a segment, Tommy, on Fug Soap, F U G G Soap. Four minutes. I okay. I was peeing myself. Oh yeah, no, it he was, was good. so freaking funny. Honorable I, mention, if I may. Yeah, and I'm gonna for, give I'm gonna me? give two two. Foster Brooks. I wow. wasn't a big Foster Brooks. Oh like, my he had one shtick always. Yeah, yeah he was, was always caught. Laugh every time. Yeah, it was drunk's funny though. And who else? That's it. Oh, yeah, that's a, my honorable mention. Would have do been yours, and then you got to do the top restaurant. Stephen yeah. Wright. My, my, oh, yeah. My, my Super honorable dry. mention. Stephen Wright was like, do you have one? Uh, no, go. Do you have one? No, okay. Our number one restaurant, Mikey. And we both agree. And on we this. both agree, Ooh. hands down, hands down, Maggiano's. Maggiano's by far. Maggiano's is as good as, in my opinion, any single single owned Italian restaurant. All like right. it could easily fit in the north end as a standalone restaurant and be as good as most of them. Yeah, I uh, I cannot disagree with you. I love the fact that it's family style, which brings us back to when you and I were growing up. Absolutely, and the whole family would sit, yeah. would sit down. Red sauce is great. Uh, they do have a location in Boston up near Park Plaza. We're right next to in the theater district. In the theater district, uh, within walking uh, distance. I, if if you're going to eat at a chain restaurant, I, we're both on the same page here. Maggiano's is probably the place to go. I don't know if you guys it's have a ever good, eaten it. It's there. a good Never value. Very good. It's a good. You're right. It's a good value, quality food, and Maggiano's. Uno numero. All right. Well, what's up for the weekend? Uh, I'll see you tonight. You're gonna you're gonna be up in Derry. Uh correct. Right. Are you going to, like, what are you wearing? Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm going to wear jeans and work shoes. I have to oh. go because I'm being stomp, strong armed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Father so, Mikey's strong armed. Yeah, 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 I yeah. yeah. I so you. we'll be we'll be there, and I hope we see a lot of our friends there. Yeah, and, that's good. You know, Father Mikey's got quite a following. And, he does. No, he's good, and, and I, uh, I appreciate that he came, uh, flew in from Vegas. He um, looks good. He looked he a looked little good. disheveled, but... We, they cleaned up right before he walked on. Well, he, he looked had a, tired. He had a long flight. Yeah, he looked tired too. Yeah. I don't know what. Well, 
whatever. You know, who knows? Sister Good and Plenty, you know, they were probably up late last night or the night before. Really? A lot yeah. of praying to do. Yeah, I know that. Um, mm -hmm. Hey, uh, just a shout out to our good friend who has sent some magnificent images and photos from uh, Sicily, Tricastani. Dominic Messina has done a spectacular job. Really? He's involved with the feast there. Like, they, he's in the middle of it. They've welcomed him. He's part of the festival. He's working. He's marching, all of that. Is Peter there, too? I don't know. But Dominic, uh, a shout-out to Dominic. He has sent some superb images as well I as video. I wish I had video. his passion. Oh, he's phenomenal. I mean, and my brother Al is there today. Uh, Al's there. What do we have? To, we are done. One minute. Okay. Al's there today. Al and Esther. Uh, this is the feast of the three saints in Tricastani, Sicily, which is the mother feast to our feast in Lawrence on Labor Day weekend. So, Mikey boy, have a great week. A pleasure. Nice seeing you again. God bless you, my child. I love your car, by the way. Love that car. No, that car is a pimp car. That hey, is, hey. That's a hell of a car. Yeah, Father Mikey might be listening. That's all I'm saying. With that being said, David, thank you so much. Chrissy, as always, great job, you guys. And to our viewers and listeners, remember, if you can't make fun of yourself, please don't make fun of anyone. And Peter, welcome home, Peter. Peter's, yeah. Peter's back home. Oh, Roger, thanks for the tomato plants. Take care. Audio drama. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.